all right welcome back to another video on building multipurpose laravel and diver application and in this video we will be working on swing the whole page loading indicator while we make an ajax request through liveware so first of all let me show you the difference of the page without loading indicators and with loading indicator enabled so currently the loading indicator is disabled so let's pretend that we are slow network connections so now if i click on delete icon over here we don't get any instant feedback right also notice that we are able to click this multiple time which is not good same with this filter over here the user will not get the instant feedback and this makes the app look like it is too slow so to fix this issue we need to use loading indicators so that user will get the instant feedback while waiting right so let's enable loading indicators and see the difference so loading indicator is enables let me refresh the page and let's do slow 3g and now if i click on delete icon over here see this beautiful loading indicators so how cool this is so same with if i click on this filter over here we see the loading indicators right also notice that we we are not able to click this multiple time right which is also good so in this video will be working on building this feature so let's get started okay first of all let me go to list appointments uh, blade.php file over here and let me show you how easy it is to add loading indicators with liveware so liveware provides the directory called wire loading wire loading and inside this div let's display the text called loading right so now let me refresh the page let's do let's go over network tab and let's do slow 3g and if i click over here you see that loading indicators right this is perfect and how easy it is to add that loading indicators but we'll not be swaying the loading indicators like this we'll be swaying the loading indicators from the middle of the page and we will do some kind of styling and you, we'll be using the uh, spinner as well so here is the website i'll put this link on the descriptions and if i click on animations over here you will see different kind of animations so you can use any but for now let's use this one so we'll be using this one and let me copy this code and then paste it over here let's create let me create the new main div and let me paste it let's indent it and also we need to add the css as well so let me copy the css and for now let's add the css on our main layouts file which is app.blood.php and over here let's add the style tag and paste it and let's go back close this refresh the page and we see the loading indicators but you may not be able to see because it is white so let's change that color we'll say style with the color black yes you see it now let's align it properly so that we'll be able to see that loading indicators on the center of the page so on this main div let's do let's add a styling over here let's do display of flex justify content to the center right so let's do align items to the center and let's add background color as well say black okay so we need to remove this color from here press the page yes perfect so now let's do position fixed right and let's position it on 
top 0 pixel and then left 0 pixel so it is actually hiding over here so let's add g index 9999 okay let's make the width of 100% as well as height 100% and we are able to align it properly on the center right so now let's add opacity 0.75 and we are able to align it properly with the opacity as well and it is looking cool right so now the thing remaining is to show and hide this loading indicators while making as you expect request through live wire so for this uh, we can simply add wire loading but if we add wire loading over here it will not work as expected right so we need to wrap this with main div again and then add wire loading over there so let me Cut from here and let's squeeze the main div, paste it, let's indent it. Okay, and let me refresh the page. Yes, and over here we can do wire loading. Now the loading indicator is currently hidden, right? It is not swing so let's do inspect let me go to network tab over here and let's do slow 3g and if i click on this casual filter and we see that loading indicator which is perfect also notice that we are not able to click anything while it is loading so which is also very good so now the remaining thing is to extract this loading indicator into components right so let's do that so that by extracting into components we don't need to copy and paste this everywhere so we can simply use the component so let's clear the components called loading loading indicator and let me copy the code from here and then paste it over here right let's indent it and over here we can simply use that component using x and the component name is loading indicator now if i refresh the page and let's test it again and we see this that same thing right so in our app.blender.psp we are pasting everything uh, related to that spinner so let me copy it from here cut it and then let's use that on our components right we have created this stack called styles so we can push that on this stack so let's do push stack name is styles and push and let's paste everything here let's line it properly okay so now let's try one more time slow 3g and we see that loading indicator right which is perfect we are extracting the components the final thing remaining is we see this uh, loading indicators flickering while we are on first network so we don't need to make that happen so liveware already provides a modifier called delay so we can use the delay modifier and it will only swap that the loading indicators will only swap if it takes more than 200 milliseconds so currently we don't see that loading indicators by adding the delay modifier so if we are on slow network then we'll see that loading indicators which is perfect so let me give you one more time yes which is nice so this must for this video so i hope you like it so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video